Hey guys, welcome to your love reading for Leo. This is going to be for your June 2024. You can apply this to your Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We are going to take a look at the person that you are thinking of, dealing with. We're to see what this person's not telling you, what they're hiding from you, and then we'll finish off the read to see what else you guys need to know, look out for, work on, apply this to your own unique situations, okay? You may switch the roles if you want. Keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Leo people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. If you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description. It is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok, Instagram, my other YouTube channel that's dedicated solely to my travels, the links for those are in the description box below. Support me on there too, all right? So tell me about Leo. The person that Leo is dealing with, thinking of, what is this person hiding from Leo? What is this person not telling Leo for June 2024? Sun, rising, Venus signs for Leo, for Leo. So with the Ace of Swords here in the world, seems like this person is withholding the truth here from you, okay? Obviously, it seems like, you know, if you guys are separated, if something ended here because someone here was not telling you the truth or something like that, I feel like this person's circling back around to tell, to tell you the truth. The Queen of Pentacle, uh, Pentacles and the Nine of Swords here, okay. This person is stressed and anxious to tell you what they've been hiding from you, what they've been, uh, what, what, what haven't they told you here. With the Three of Cups here and the Empress here, um, I'm not, I'm going to be quite honest here. When it comes to this person coming back around to tell you, how, you know, what they've been hiding from me, I feel like at this point you don't care. Yeah, I do feel like you guys just separated though. I do. Yeah, at this point you don't care. It's sort of like one of those energies that's too late. The Empress here, Libra Taurus, the Queen of Pentacles, Capricorn Taurus, Virgo, the Ace of Swords, the Ace of Swords here, and the Hierophant, the World, Seven of Cups. I, I, you know, here's the thing. I feel like this person has some sort of loyalty here towards you, but I feel like this person's just really confused and really lost. You know, perhaps this person wants to provide you with some sort of clarity as to why they were exploring other options here. Perhaps they're realizing that with the Hierophant here, that's the right thing to do. Let's see what else we have here. The Queen of Pentacles and the Hangman, Piscean Energy. The Nine of Swords here and the Hermit, Virgo Energy. You know, I'm not going to lie. You know, one of the things I'm getting here is I feel like this person wants to talk to you. They want to tell you, but I feel like this person's scared of you. So I feel like this person's just going to pussy out, you know? This person's just going to just kind of like, you know, you know, they want to speak their peace or that they want to speak their truth, but then they are going to pull their energies back, okay? The uh, Three of Cups here and the Page of Pentacles. The uh, Empress. Why is the Empress here? The Empress and judgment so they are kind of going back and forth you know but do you feel like eventually they will take some sort of action here and come in with some sort of apology here or a reconciliation okay um interesting i i also get another thing that you know perhaps this person that is hiding something here from you you know they might be hiding hiding some sort of like medical condition that they were just diagnosed here with and i feel like this person might be scared to tell you i do feel like this person has a secret but it might not be what you think, you know, you know, like, oh, if this person's cheating on you, I did say that this person has options. Maybe this person's confused about the diagnosis. What else do we have here for Leo? Will this person come clean towards Leo? I do feel like this person wants to, but they're scared to. Queen of Swords here and the Ace of Pentacles. Queen of Swords, Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, Ace of Pentacles. We have the Death card here and Nine of Pentacles. Interesting. I do feel like whatever this person is hiding from you, I do feel like it has something to do with their health here, okay? But I do feel like this person, you know, between you and this person, if, <coughs> if you guys are separated because this person has been keeping things from you, I do feel like this person does want to come back together or that if you guys are still together, this person does want to tell you the truth here. 
Yeah, this person wants to tell- I, I really feel like it has some sort of- something to do with a medical condition. Yeah. Queen of Swords here. Why is the Queen of Swords here? The Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords and the, uh, uh, and the, uh, Lovers. The, uh, Ace of Pentacles and the Three of Pentacles. Yeah, they do want to work things out here. They do want to rekindle this relationship. It's almost like you've been trying to figure out or that you feel like you've been walking in eggshells with this person because they've just been holding something back from you, you know? And you had no idea what it is, but, you know, at some point this person will provide you with some sort of clarity here. Uh, perhaps, I would say pretty soon. Yeah, pretty soon. Probably in the next few weeks or something like that. We have the Death card here in the Eight of Cups. Nine of Pentacles here in the Six of Pentacles. I feel like this person closed themselves off to you because I feel like they had to. It's almost like an energy of like they received some sort of bad news and they're trying to like find ways to process it. Okay. The Four of Wands here. The Four of Wands. Four of Wands and the Ten of Swords. The Ace of Wands and the Justice card. Yeah, they will tell you the truth here. It has something to do with some sort of me medical condition. It's like, I feel like they no longer could keep it to themselves. Okay? And they feel like they understand, you know, the position that you're in here. And you feel like this person, you know, is sorry or regretful that they are putting you in that type of position where you're kind of like left in the dark here. All right? Let's see what else do we have for, for Leo. Yeah, I actually feel like it has something to do with a medical condition. Whatever this is. The sun card came out in the reverse. Leo energy. Whatever this is, it's it's hereditary. Like, I feel like it's passed down. Yeah. Um, and I do feel like whoever this person is, it does run on the female side of the family. Okay? It does run in the female side of the family here. Um, so this is kind of like a very specific reading for somebody. A page of Cups here, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, and the Eight of Pentacles here. Uh, you know, this person could be going through some sort of treatment already. Um, you know, I do feel like whoever this is, I do feel like this person's kind of like suffering right now at this time. Yeah, I guess, you know, I feel like this person's trying to save you in a way from experiencing the suffering that they're going through or that they don't want you to see it. Yeah. So Leo, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys. Bye.